G'day, how you going? Welcome to one of my hunting videos. A lot of what I do, what you don't see, is I take a lot of young fellas out, mostly young boys that don't have dads to take them out, or don't even have dads, and that is funded by my Patreon. They pay for the fuel, they pay for everything. It's a big cost. Running this truck costs thousands of dollars a year, so that is one way I can get something back to keep that moving. I did approach the Lions Club because I wanted to get a troop carrier. It's the Toyota 70 series troop carrier because it holds 11 people and we can only take five people away on this and generally two of them have got to be adults or at least one grown up boy that knows how to handle himself in the bush. As you can see right now, pace is bandaged up. We got a good boar last night which I will show you in this video. So uh, this is a mishmash of all the boys I've taken out in the last four weeks and a good hunt at the end, or well, somewhere in the video, I might put it in the middle, I haven't decided yet, I haven't edited it yet, but of the actual pig we caught last night. Enjoy the clip, thanks for your support, and we'll see you in the clip. You're going to be okay mate. It's got a few antibiotics inside him and some uh, painkillers. <laughs> Shh, filming. <laughs> Take one. <laughs> there you go, honey. So in the back of the truck today we've got... Oh, what's your name, fella? Go on the dog. Hi, my name's James. And how old are you, James? Seven. And you still got some toast in your mouth and wild pork from this morning's breakfast, yeah? Yeah. Tastes good? Good man. And we've got Smash. Hey. You want to know Smash? Where are you, Smash? See how you're there. And uh, we've got Pace in the back of the truck because he just makes so much noise and barks and he's basically trained me to get himself in the front. And we're going to pick up young Flynn who's 14. Yep. Right, eh? And uh, we're going hunting because we love hunting, don't we? James. Yeah. Yeah, he's never been hunting in his life. Okay. This is our uh, new uh, weapon. <laughs> what's, what's the dog's name? Diva. Diva. Who that? Is that their uh, pace, eh? Who that? So you spent a bit on vet bills on that dog, eh? Oh, fuck, his wife's dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to look <laughs> after it, mate. Get out, mate. There you go. Hey, Clay. Flynn. Hey, Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your line of dog, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doing introductions. Tails wagon, that's a good sign. Good sign. Yep. Come on. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Okay. Good. He's doing well. He's going well, considering he's got a whole pack around him. No, that's the wrong end. I want to smell the other end. Tail wagon, that's good. He's got a stiff tail, so he's not sure. That's the wrong end beat. Other end beat. Bum end. Nose to nose, scrap. Nose to bum, happy. That's the way it works. You think it's funny to you, fella? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> What's funny about it? It's just weird. It's just the way dogs are. They're not like humans. Okay, we'll put some collars on. Do you want to collar up um, Poe? Poe come. Thank you. Nice and firm, just so you can get one finger in there, mate. Have a sniff around here. There's many other dogs, so the dog's been here this morning. Okay, so someone else has been here. She's getting a breeze off this hill up the other end here, oh, there's actually breeze is actually coming down this way. So what's gonna happen, Powders? They're gonna go up the hill, All right? They're gonna go up there. Yep. And um we're going to just wait and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. You warm enough? Excited? Okay. Who's back?
Dog's got wind of something at the top of the gully just now. Yeah, got palm paste just in there now. Yeah, if there's a pig down there, it'll bust by about now, I reckon. It'll hear the dogs if there is. Might be hanging around. Got a breeze coming up this gully right now, which is just perfect for the dogs. The boys are going down there. I'm going to slide around the side and just keep an eye on things on the tracker. But I was down here last year and there was a shitload of rooting right down, sort of halfway down. And a lot of hunters just, they bonnet hunt or they drive around, but if you have to do the leg work down there, you get onto pigs. And last year we got onto a really good pig. And Co had it bailed in the gully by herself, she had no backup. She has gone down there and it's a nice breeze coming up, so I reckon something could go down here. Here another hunter. Another so that's an actual bullet? That's a shotgun shell. It's off a shotgun. So, so I should leave it. Well, it's just rubbish, but yeah. We're going to carry on. We're doing some hunting. Hey, look, jet stream. Oh, yeah, right. So well, hunting a couple of hours now and not really much happening. A bit of sign around, but actually bugger all sign around to be honest. This forestry's been hunted through the summer by a few dodgy poachers. Let's say. Because the uh, season's just second week of the season, there should be a lot more pigs than there is, but a lot of hunters sneak in there. I know you can blame them, eh? Have a look around, can you see any pig sign anywhere that you think might be a sign of a pig? Look around here mate, look at this here, see that? Yeah, that's where a pig's put his nose in the ground, see that? Can you see that? He's been rooting up, okay? He's put his nose in there and he's gone round and round, stirred it up, that's what pigs do. He's getting his breakfast, probably some grubs in the ground. You like some grubs for breakfast? Okay. So James here is starting to get a bit tired. I'm going to ask you some questions now, James. Okay? I'm going to ask you some questions about hunting. Tell me, what have you learnt so far today? Be quiet. Shh, got to speak quiet when you say it. got to say be quiet. What else? Be quiet. Um, what else did you learn? Don't, no stepping on sticks. Don't stand on sticks, yeah, that's a bit quiet, yeah. Okay, anything else? Don't slam the what? Peterson. The door. Don't slam the door. Do you hear that? Oh, it's a bird. Don't slam the door, yeah, sorry. I was in hunting mode. I heard something, but it was actually a bird. So you got to speak in a whisper. Because pigs can hear your voice. Do you know what happens if they hear your voice? They run off. They run off. You're not talking quietly still. Got to work on that a bit, eh? Okay. Here's the truck up here so you can have something to eat now. I've got some wild pork for you to chew on. Got all the dogs down below here. This gully. Good spot for a pig. So we got some pork in the cooker, some sauerkraut, which this guy's been tearing into. Nice. You like that, eh? Not many kids like sauerkraut. You've already had some pork on toast. You want to try it a little bit by itself, just a wee bit? Okay. It's actually nice with sauerkraut. Try that. Put that in your mouth, and then put some sauerkraut on top of it. Pork and sauerkraut is yummy. Goes pretty good together. Okay, give me a rating. Give me a rating. Ten is really delicious, and one is disgusting. I oh, know, and then between them. Yeah, like so. One would be. Yeah. One would be like disgusting. I'd give it give it like an eight. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. A solid eight, yeah. Okay. Do you reckon you can eat a piece of pork that big? It's a pretty big piece.
You've already had something on, mate. You're into it. Good boy. Well, that's why we hunt. Mm. Mm hmm. Tear into it. Mm. It's not the flesh, it's a bit of pork, just an old boar, but with a bit of uh, salt, it tastes right. Well, good try, but not good enough, eh? You know, folks, sometimes I reckon if it wasn't for bad luck, we'd have no luck at all. James got pretty tired after about six or seven hours, and so were the dogs, so we stuck them back in the truck, and as soon as we had them back in the truck, three fat pigs ran across the road, which you will see in the dash cam right here. And that's Murphy's Law. Top of the morning, boys and girls. Beside me is a product of what happens when you take young fellas out 16 years later. <laughs> this is Patrick. You know. Patrick was about 11 when I first took him out and how old are you now? 27? Yeah, 27. So yeah. And Patrick tells me that it changed his life a bit. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, it did, yeah. You just get, um, get sort of started on something positive. Most kids do sort of sports and that sort of thing, but um, hunting sort of comes naturally and then you don't get it, go out getting in trouble when you're sort of hunting. Yeah, you're out hunting. And so you tell me you never got in trouble? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to take him out, and uh, he probably you've, you've been interested in hunting ever since, really, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even did it for a job for a bit. Yeah, you yeah, was commercial like a colour. Yeah, that's right. Wicked. Yeah. So it's good to have him on board. And in the back we've got uh, Flynn. There he goes. So we've got Patrick's dog Foxy, which is actually a sibling, the brother of Pace. There he goes. It's not Pace. It's actually Foxy. Mm -hmm. And. Um, he hasn't been going that flash for Patrick, we, although he was on a 140 pound boar last week. Pace is at home uh, with a prong in him, and we've only got my dog Poe and B. And we've also got Tama, which is uh, young Flynn's dog. Right, we'll put Poe back on the front of the bonnet and we'll just head up here. We're going to just bonnet hunt her until we get into the actual zone, just in case there's a pig where we are. We're in forestry. Spooners, if you can catch a pig here, you can catch a pig anywhere, eh, Pat? That's it. So a pig just broke, hear that? That's Pat's dog making a wee bit of noise. A pig just broke out in front of me here. And uh, we've got Poe up above us, 300. And down below we've got, currently, we've got Tama and we've got your dog making a bit of noise here, Pat. Mm, I'm seeing that way. Pat says it's a, it's a moving bale. <laughs> it's, it's another word for a trail bucket. This is the first time he's done it though. That's okay, mate. Stag. It's been running down the road here. Well, I completely stuffed up big time. I was taking a dump in the bush and I put my belt on upside down. And guess what? That's right, fucking knife fell out. And it's a really nice Simon Walker knife. It's actually the prototype, the very first one. And it was, <laughs> but hey, you lose everything in the end. So, but just dumb. Lucky I didn't find out that when I got to a pig, eh? Like <laughs> yeah, my mate Possum last week, he lost his knife as well. You're gonna lose your glove too, buddy, if you don't uh, put it in your pocket. Anyway, that's that's uh, a good knife gone. Bugger. <whistles> this goat in here, B just grabbed it. It's the first time he's seen a goat. So B's just had his first lesson on goats. He grabbed this goat down here in the river, which is bailed up right in here, right next to me. G'day, mate. How you going? Yeah. And that's where the old hot collar is just perfect because I'm there, I can see what he's doing, 
give him a zap, and boom. He won't ever touch a goat again, I don't reckon, after that. He doesn't want to go near it, do you? Bad dog B. Bad dog. Bad dog B. Bad dog. Bad dog. I'm going back to where I think I lost my knife. I don't know if it's going to be here or not. That's where I took a dump. I'll be lucky if I find it. Somewhere around here. Oh, there it goes. Beauty. Woohoo. <laughs> Got him. Happy days. So the lesson in that is, whenever you've lost something, don't panic. Don't get upset because you might find it. And that's what I did when I thought I lost it. So I'm not going to worry about it. And if I find it, good. If I don't, it's just a knife. But I'm really fucking happy to have it back. That's fucking awesome, eh? You yeah, mate. Bloody good. Fuck yeah. I was just saying to the boys, one of them in the truck just slammed the door and I said often when that happens it tells all the pigs we're there and stuff it up but sometimes it also lifts a pig that's in a nest and literally straight after he slammed the door the pig got sent to something that was creeping out and uh, she still getting sent now as you can see she got onto it by herself but she'd never back up with the other dog so it would have been a good pig but a couple of barks and a yelp still up here, didn't get it but it actually lifted that pig not an ideal way to lift a pig but that is the positive side because it would have stayed in its bed and it never would have moved and she would never have smelt it if we hadn't slammed that door Let's see where the pigs come down here here comes our last man now Po, Brinny and Tama all treed up 550 straight up here. The boys are on the way up. I've just let B out. The B's come back, he got nailed by it. We heard the bark, he's got a couple of tags, got one on there. Got all the dogs out in different directions right now. How far away they mate? Uh, coming back? Okay. So Brinny and B have killed a pig and Poe was there too, it's only small. Brinny come, come here. I thought it was a possum at first, because she's a possum killer, but you can see all the blood. Yeah, that's pig blood. You know, she, they've killed a wee pig. It's 170 away. Okay, good dogs. So, B, Brinny, and Poe were on that, eh? Treat up. He's having a rest, he's a bit fucked. We're playing dead. Yeah. Hey folks, how you going? This is uh, young Blake beside me. Introduce yourself, mate. I'm um, Blake. I'm 14 now and I go to Nelson College. And your voice has got lower <laughs> since I saw you last time. <laughs> Shit shit, man. You're sounding more like a man every day. I used to teach Blake when he was tiny. Teach him music. Yeah. Do you still play the ukulele at all? Oh, mostly the piano nowadays. Yeah? yeah. Awesome, man. You singing? Nah. I bet you can. So, is this your first time pig hunting with us? Yeah, it is. Yeah? Yeah. Have I taken you hunting anywhere at all? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. So it's the first. So we're going to be picking up Cuzzy, which is a mate of his. And I kind of call Cuzzy my son. And we're also picking up young Flynn and his dad, Hayden. So it's going to be like a father-son sort of uh, hunt. We're going on to a private block, so it should be quite good. In the back of the truck, I've got just Poe and B. And young Flynn's got a couple of dogs that uh, we'll be hunting with as well. So we'll have four dogs in total. If you don't like hunting, don't watch the video because something will die, hopefully. That's the plan, to get a bit of meat and bring it home. But if you can relate to what we're doing and all that sort of thing, then come with me. What beautiful day, isn't it, mate? What a ripper. Absolute ripper of a day. Just joining us, Cuzzy Bro! <laughs> and Cuzzy still isn't quite the ATM, eh, Cuz? But he's not far away from doing it. That means you can do everything yourself. To break down what an A team member does is they can handle the dogs, they can handle their knife, they can handle the pig, they can handle the meat, the gutting, 
prepare preparation field dressing whatever you're doing and take it out all by himself without any help and you're not that far away from that eh because his knife skills are really good his dog skills would be the probably the best in all our team but there's a few things he could learn better that is not getting lost in the bush knowing which way the uh, dogs are when you go to the bale just working out listening and I think probably actually handling a big boar you haven't had one yet eh yeah. that'll be the real test so today where we're going it's a private block there's only small pigs out here but you never know what could be lurking around so we'll just have to wait and see so joining us right now is this bloke here <laughs> who's uh <laughs> do your introduction mate do you yeah mean? Hayden Morgan Flynn's dad and you know Flynn yeah. and uh, I'll just introduce you guys this is Cuzzy in the very far corner I call him his son yeah. and this is Blake yeah. okay Blake yeah. so yeah and uh, yeah hey. what's your last name Blake? Andersby I oh, know Blake yeah. You, you know? Go? yeah yeah I do Small world, through eh? cricket, through cricket. Dad, his dad used to live up here that's right yeah. Yeah. yeah it did so yes and our dogs are doing introductions in the back yeah that'll be right right we're into it we've been asked to basically search and destroy but that's not a forestry the pigs come out in the forestry and they're just nailing the garden we collared all the dogs up and as you can see right here look at the rooting right beside us happy days us pig hunters love it the farmer hates it looks like the dogs have taken themselves off so what's really interesting folks is that this rooster here his father is Ted and my father John used to hunt with Ted when they were very young they've hunted down South Westland yep uh, did loads of pig hunting and he's still got the same line of dogs that you had back then is it uh no no we've moved on but we moved um, on yeah. so, so that none of that bl original blood's in your no, pack anymore no. okay because you used to have really good dogs yes yes and yeah. then we sort of gave it up eight, ah, eight right. years ago okay and so we only just got the tail end of them now and that's what we're trying to rekindle yeah so what's happened is he's got a son that's 14 and he's got a passion for pig hunting just like his grandfather and his father which is kind of good because they're getting dad back out on the hill again. Yeah, yeah, it's dead right. Hmm. So that's, that's, that's a good thing. Bloody good thing. Yeah. And we're sitting at the top of the hill. I'm sitting on my ass, and they're doing all the work down there. And we're in the sun. We could probably crack a bear open. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a pig beat up on that ridge there. Yeah, right? we could just nest up here and do nothing. I like your sort of hunting. Yeah, not, yeah. yeah we well, get, you can see. You can. Get quite fond of hunting I'm like this. I'm surprised there's no one in a pig making a break out of there. Yeah. One lonely pig at the hill. Pig going right down there now. That'll be a pig. Guaranteed. Any pig ones may not escape there. That pig ain't going anywhere, brother. Geez, your son's flying down there. Go left, Cuzzy. Go left, mate. Oh, the other dog's going to get there. Go left, Cuzzy. You're going the wrong way, boy. Yeah, Flynn's on to it. Some whereabouts? <laughs> yeah. Across. Oh. 
Through his throat. Which is pretty steep. Making Blake carry the pig out. This will be Blake's first hunt, isn't it? Yeah, it's his first hunt, mate. Yeah. Good okay. stuff. Have you still got your white dog on track? Oh, there it is. Yep. yep. It's actually a really good small pig to start Blake off on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Nothing too bad. You want to see whatever experience to be good for the boys, just like you do for a pup. You don't want your pup to get onto a big board that calves out from the first yeah. one. If Blake was carrying a you know, 100 pound pig out on his back, he'd be struggling and it might just make him go, oh, I don't like pig hunting. So right. <laughs> it's kind of good to make the experience good. Good stuff, fellas. <laughs> you've blooded yourself, man. You've got blood on your face. Welcome on to you, pig mate. hunting. <laughs> good initiation, eh? It's not a biggie, but it's a piggy. I have a strong suspicion someone else was hunting here in the last day or two. I was just saying to Hayden, you know, because there's a lot of sign up there and most of it's like 48 hours old, 24 to 48 hours old and often when you get given a block like you were just given this block local knowledge spreads fast and yes. someone goes oh they're going up to hunt it we better go up there yep. that's what I reckon's happened because oh, I agree. A, you agree? Yep. A yep. lot of sign but we still managed to get some blood in our eyes and this fella here <laughs> oh the middle that one there <laughs> got his first pig so well done. Well, you got some pork to take home to your mum. Do you reckon you handle it right cutting it up? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. It'll be sweet, awesome. Nice paint job. Nice looking pig. That's a forestry pig that's come out onto a bit of farmland. How you going team? Well old Mischief here is right beside me because he cries in the back. He's managed to train me to get him to sit in here because he's a clever bastard. Poe in the back with B. Going to meet up with Jamie the Giant, uh, his brother Dylan and Bailey. Oh come on Grandad, it's a 60k zone. You're doing 40k, come on. You hear a dog barking, did you? That'll do, Pace. How you going? Good to see you. Nice to see you too. So you're just taking two dogs, bud? Yeah, yeah, my other one. Sweet. This is Dylan's secret weapon. It's a, um, what is it made, a holder? Yeah, yeah, holder. Vicious, absolutely lethal. So give us your your name, your height, and your weight. Each of you will start with the guys in the back. Uh, this is uh, young Bailey. Tell us about you, mate. Also, yeah. what dog you prefer? Uh, I'm 21, I'm about 90 kilo, and I'd rather holding dogs. Holding dogs, oh, yeah. So uh, Dylan in the back there is, um, he's the quiet silent type, he's actually generally the first one to the pig, is that fair to say guys? Yeah. yeah. He's the fastest. That's always the, yeah. always the way. And he's no noise, he's all a business. And uh, Jamie, what about you mate? I'm 20, oh, I don't know how much I weigh, and my preferred dog is, oh, I don't know, is there anything really? You're not holding or though, yeah. bailing? Holding. You're yeah. holding man, yeah. The old bailing, holding my own. But how tall are you? Uh, seven foot. Seven foot. So this is basically Jamie the Giant, and he is too, because the you know, first time I met you, you were like, only like, man, 15 or 16, and even then you were big. Yeah. Yeah. But now you've sort of lost more weight and got stronger, haven't you? Kind of, yeah. Can you, ever, can you ever keep up with your brother Dylan or not? No, <laughs> shit, no. He's pretty fast, eh? I know, I've seen him in action. No, I'm 
Trying to beat in Bailey now. <laughs> trying to beat Bailey. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Okay, we'll stop at the yak and get on the road. In the back of the truck, we've got t his two female dogs. Are they your main dogs or not? Oh, oh yeah, one's main and one's up in family. Okay. Very patient with the dogs, ask the rickety in your face. <laughs> I'm trying to look at it. He's got no manners. Oh, he's going to the back there, he's going to check out what's going on the back there. Last year I took smash out about this time we got a nice pig. Oh, two out now. We were going to hunt the dog just down here because a bit of a breeze coming up, but um, Honey is really dehydrated. She's been hunting this morning and since she's thirsty, so we're going to fang it down to the creek, get some water in her, and then hunt her. But you've got to keep your dogs hydrated. Breeze is going the wrong way. It's coming from this hill above us here. After all that, Honey didn't even want to drink. Gee, that's a nice fat wecker. Quite nice on a spit, wouldn't it? Post gone up in here, she's 761 with pace. Pace and power in this creek now, and as you can see, they've just gone round and round and round. Often as a sign that you're on to something. Straight down here, 200. Right down there. Now moving up the creek again. Yeah, directly up the creek. No noise though. So we just got Poe back in with pace. They crossed the uh, track, but a long, probably an hour of track, and that pig never caught it. It's pig hunting. It's getting dark now, so animals will be moving around. We're going to see if we can get uh, honey to pick up something all tiny. We've just got them on the back of the tailgate now, and you can see them there. Probably not. But they will wind off the tailgate, so we'll see how we go. How you going? Welcome to the old farmhouse. Well, it's Easter. And we spent the whole weekend taking young fellows out hunting and I've come into this room here, this is a good bastard's room We store everything to grab one of these, a jacket for young Cuzzy, let's see Tusker so He's coming with us, we've got also young Smash And who else have we got? Well Jody will be arriving any moment now so I'm going to put that in the corner This is what I'm using for all my gear It's a sort of a charging bay that I've made up I've Got the drone down here, one of my cameras, these are collars for dogs and I've just got this sort of area tidied up because I always used to end up with a bloody mess got two units for charging one for one of the boys and one for me so I can keep an eye on them and these collars can go in the truck now in fact they are charged green light means on so they can come off there it's uh, Pace's collar there don't know why this camera is decided to zoom in automatically and this is uh, B's collar it's charged too green light says good to go and we've got a spare dog coming today we're taking young Flynn and he's bringing his dog and that's for Poe. So four dogs, four collars. Got here right, we've got uh, two keen boys so far. This is Jody, and last week Jody cleaned all my trucks for me, didn't you, Jody? I did. He came over and he did all of them, and uh, it was three vehicles in total. And uh, I think he deserves a hunt. And Cousy, who I took out to the Chatham Islands pig hunting oh, a couple of months ago now, still hasn't come over and cleaned anything. Oh, I did clean one car, didn't he? He cleaned my uh, little sport car that someone lent me uh, for a time. But I haven't seen any other work, Cuzzy. What's the story? Too busy? Yeah. He's too busy to, to work, but he's got time to come for a hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Cuzzy. Priorities. Yeah, priorities. <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to pick up Smash and Flynn in about three quarters an hour in Kohatu. So we'll stop yakking and carry on down the road. Just checking the bags because we had a lot of rain and uh, things have got wet in here. Your stuff okay mate, or is it wet too? Slightly wet. Slightly wet, eh? Dog's a bit wet, eh? So we're just gonna pick up Smash now and young Flynn. Oh, there he goes with his pig dog. <laughs> How you going? You got the weapon with you again? Yeah, we'll take it, mate. Very good. Alright boys. Well no, that was uh, Finn's dad just dropping the boys off. You've uh, been having a good time? Yep. Did you? Yep. Did you have a shooting while or... Yeah, a wee bit. Did you have a sh shot with the semi-automatic? Yeah. 
Was it an illegal semi automatic or was it legal? <laughs> no, no, it's legal. It's legal, good. Right? Legal. <laughs> cool. Apparently, a lot of our semis are illegal now, but I think 22s are still legal, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah. Well, when the hunt's over, we're going to put some collars on dogs. It's a light rain, light drizzle, sort of intermittently coming on and off. Other side, mate, turn around the other way so your aerial's on the other side. Always have your aerial on your left hand side. Pull apart first there, smash, just in case she gets wind or something. We've got the dogs out in front of us and Smash has been telling us about lighting farts. I'll never do such a thing. <laughs> I've got more manners. You've done it mate? Yeah. Okay. What about you cuz, you ever lived in a fart before? <laughs> Maybe. 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 Not committing to it. Flynn, you ever done it mate? Yeah. Never. Well, uh, Smash. <laughs> You'd be the guy that would instigate it. He was telling me that he, t he told his mate to be, I won't say who his mate was because he's not here to defend himself, but he was telling me he got his mate to do it. His mate didn't believe it could be done. So of course he showed him. How, how'd you do it? Just like... Uh, Jumped on me back, pulled my pants down, left me up, he's up. <laughs> Hold the flame there and did a big fart. I think everybody's done it, eh? I don't think yeah. you're alone. We've all done it. It's big. We're just waiting for the dogs to let out a bark. Hey guys, shout out to Joey Tag. Joey Tag's a patron, 13 years of age in Australia and loves hunting. Say good day to him. Good day, Joey. Hey. There you go, mate, shout out. Just waiting for a bark. The veins come down, so I'm making it hard. I'm going to put this camera away because it's getting wet. The boys have got GoPro, so they should get some footage if we get something. But who knows how it's going to pan out. Happen there. Bloody thick scrub for a dog to get through. Well, that's another pig that just burnt off my dogs. You know, pigs, they're shaped like an ice cream cone. They're sharp in the front. They just plough through everything. When it comes to going downhill, dogs won't touch them. So this pig ran across the road into this scrub down here. Poe actually saw it, we all saw it. And uh, she knows it's still on there. But couldn't touch it in that thick black brown. I mean, look how thick it is. Pace gave it a good go. He's been cane man. Look at him. No rips. Hey, good dog. Not a very good picture because we've got some water on the camera. We're just driving through the forestry on our way home. It's dark. We didn't catch a pig, but I want to put this out to you pig hunters out there. We've got Poe out in the front because we did chase the pig here early on. It might have come back around full circle. Truck came the other way towards us, so Smash jumped out to grab Poe just to hold on. And the guys don't even slow down a little bit. Not even a friendly wave. If you're another hunter and you see someone's got their dogs on the road, slow down because if you hit their dogs and run them over, you know what the cost of that is. It's there's no price you can put on it. And secondly, show a bit of bloody just don't be rude, you know, a bit of common sense and the etiquette and what's the right word I'm looking for guys? Manners? Is that the right word? Yeah. No. Teenagers all grunt, yeah. <laughs> it's not too hard to just wave and smile and slow down. No, don't act like uh, you're a wanker because when you do that you're a wanker. <laughs>
that is Mount Arthur and that's the first real good fall of snow we've had on it and that pushes the animals from the high ground down to the low ground how you doing welcome to another hunt in the truck beside me I've got young Jody somewhere there in the dark yeah Jody's uh, been coming out with me for a while now to date he's only caught one pig of me the last <laughs> pig we should have caught was because what happened mate stuffed it up <laughs> <laughs> as young fellas do he gave me some false information on the GPS anyway um, today we're heading away with Simon got my four dogs in the back and we're hunting with Simon's dogs too so hopefully we get some blood in our knives and something dies if you don't like the idea of going out hunting with dog and knife just don't watch the video do yourself a favor because it can be upsetting for some people if you're not into that sort of thing and i understand that dogs complaining about that <laughs> but itching to go but if you are a meat eater and you enjoy eating meat and you understand it comes from animals then uh that's my dog pace he wants to come and sit in here that's pace then uh if you do understand that concept then Come with me. They're all up there. Look, he's licking the cage. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to make noise all the way down there because he wants to be in here with me. He gets like quite obsessed. Oh, he's biting the cage. Look at him. <laughs> got, to, got, to, got to let him out, man. Okay, can you let them out without them all getting out? Can you do that? I'm going to say that you're going to struggle. Yeah, I'm going to struggle. It's part of your... Uh, Learning how to handle dogs, mate. So what you do is you just say pace and make sure the rest don't jump out, yeah? Right. Just, just grab Pace's nose and make the rest stay there. Stay, post stay. I'll let you get it and give him a hand. How are you getting on? It worked. Oh, you got Pace out, did you? Yeah. Yeah, she's already... Okay. Oh, he's in the truck. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Bloody hell. Right in the back, pace. In the back. Pace. In the back. Pace. Get in the back. Pace. In the back. In the back. <laughs> Jeez, he was in there like a rocket, wasn't he? I didn't even see that happen. I get there and there's three dogs in the truck and I can't find pace. He's already in there. <laughs> yeah, beauty. Oh, man. We were going to leave you in the back of the truck like a dog. No, you're a human. You belong on the front with the humans, don't you? Jeez, I'm a softy. He's my mate, though, eh? He's like a pet. Right, we'll get the shack on the road. We're gonna get some, slay some pigs. Look at him, look. No, no, you're in the back, mate. You're in the back. Get in the back. In the back. Good boy. That's good, dog. <laughs> no, in the back. Pace in the back. Pace in the back. Stay. Oh, yeah, boss, I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> no, in the back, Pace. Get in the back. <laughs> right, we're into it. It's not fresh, but it's also not that old either. We're all rooting, it's had rain on it last night. 
Doc's trying to get up here, there's a pig above, but it's never going to get up there, it's too steep. It's gone, Poe. Good, good, Poe. Where's it gone, Poe? Oh, it's steep. And she's got up there, she's done it. Good, good, Poe. Good, good, Poe. Good, good, Poe. She's up. Yeah, she got up there. Good dog. All my dogs have gone up here except Mix is hanging, but the whole four have gone up on her. Mix going now. We're going to lose light soon on the native now. My dog's up here about 80 90 metres. Had a few runs, but no pork. This is the time of night when everything's starting to move around. favourite time for fishing and hunting to keep the noise down because animals can be anywhere up here good place to get it back yeah. there's the Jews there yeah, it's front and front and back in the same one that old Yeah, there's a real good pineapple on the top here. Yeah, that's a good mark. Yeah, there for a bit and get marked. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll take this. Where's the top one? Actually, two marks here. Good boar and a sow. Be a good uh, pick to find though. It's crossed over. Breeze going wrong here, we're going to sort of put our ass this way. So it's not a great wind to put this pick up. See how we get on. Lay it on. My three have just had a pig, and the Simons are taking off down after it. So this could be hopeful, particularly if it's a good ball that we just saw. Ball, that's a cracker boy. This is a really good ball, but uh, we've got some ripped dogs here. It's a fucking big pig. See how Simon's dog's doing. How's she looking, mate? Can, right. can your old man get the truck here? Yeah, he's on his way. Okay, you got a staple, staple killer there? I've got one in my bum bag now. Okay, let's just staple this dog up now, eh? Mac will have some. Well. He's still, why well, he's got the adrenaline on it still, yeah? Mac. <laughs> yeah. Go on, bro. Good boy. Good boy. Just you're holding it, see? It's going a good job. It's good, good. Nice one, sight. It's firm. I've only got one round of it anyway. Okay, mate, there we go. 
we'll just stop him rubbing it. Maybe put it on the box so he can't rub around. Good old pig hat. Yep, hey, Pope. Pope. Yeah, beat. Ah, that was a bee. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can give pace a little bit. Come on, you mate. Probably won't. Good pace. Good pace. Yeah. Good. Yeah, boy. Is he going to eat that or give me two crook? Nah. You want me to go five? Too sore. Yeah. Too sore, I think. Put it back. Thanks. Thanks for that. I'll give us some right here. Good yeah, pace. Righto. <laughs> Marked him, flooded him. <laughs> One, two, three. Fuck, he's a beauty. Jeez, I hope Pace is going to be okay. He got yeah. nailed by that fucking tusk. Hope he's going to be alright. <coughs> he looks alright, but you never know. Good boy, eh? Oh, mate. What are we going to do with your Pace, eh? You're going to kill yourself getting pigs, boy. What do you call it, Simon? 131. So, Simon's saying 131. What are you saying, bud? You said 135. You're sticking with that? Yeah, I'll stay with that. It's pretty chunky. Although, it's not a long pig, is it? 125. 125? Yeah. Actually, it's not a long pig. It's a short, stubby pig. Yeah, I'm going to go 127 on that. It's not as long as... Uh, yeah, 127 is my count. Don't buggy your back. What do you want, Gossy? And you want to be part of the action too. Give me a hand there, Jody. Give me a hand, mate. No Try jump. Oh, this seems heavier than I thought it was. <laughs> I don't think that pig's gonna, pig's gonna hook in there. <laughs> we missed it. That is easy, easy. <laughs> 125. Oh. What did I say? 125. Yeah. 124.6. 124.6. Oh, that'll cost you boys a beer. What did I say, 127? Yeah. Yeah, I come down when I saw it, you bastard. You beat me! <laughs> <laughs> Keep your core strength strong, Jody. Keep your core. Keep your tummy muscles tight, mate. That's it. Yep. Into the drinks fridge. Is he sitting up right? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. I like a chiller, bro. Chiller's fault. I'm gonna save on him with that there. Good boy. Stay there. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Welcome to the old farmhouse. It's been 10 days since we caught that pig. I'm going to pan around here and show you where all the dogs are. I've got kennels over here now. I'm just in the middle of shifting everything so the place is like a bomb site. We're uh, moving everything. Because this area here is where I'm going to put a house truck where my daughter's going to stay with me, Dayla. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a pace before we wind this hunting video up. And see how he's doing. G'day mate, there you go. He's got the cone of shame on his neck, stopping biting his stitches out. I took him to the vet uh, and we got this all tidied up. So he's got a drain down here to drain it. And you can see there's a bit of swelling. Get out of there, Poe. You have to be in the bloody picture, don't you? Not you, Poe. Where you go, Poe? It's one of the uh, commands he just doesn't quite understand, do you, Poe? It's where you go. I'm trying to, trying to film pace. His tail's busy wagging. So yeah, he's got a drain in there and he's healing up good. Hey, boy. Yeah, I really, uh, I hate my dogs getting hurt and 
I understand that the majority of pig hunters want to catch big boars and when I was younger I did too but to be honest with you guys I'm a lot happier with a big fat 80 pound maiden sow for eating. Anyway uh, that's me, hope your own hunting's going well and your own adventures with your dogs, your mates, your children, whatever you're doing out there to harvest your food. Hope you enjoy this video, smash the like button if you're still watching and got this far to the end of it and uh, be good. That'll do. If you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. I've got a few chickens.